Who would have thought that a wall would be such good resistance? Hey guys, welcome to another runner strength workout. My name is Alina Kennedy. I'm an Australian trained physiotherapist, runner and personal trainer based in New York City. For today's workout, I'm going to show you a bunch of exercises that you can do at home using just a wall for resistance. You're not going to need any other equipment, but you will need to set yourself up close to a wall that you can put your hands and feet onto. For exercise one, we're going to do wall leg slides. You're going to have a light on your side. Your top leg is going to be up against the wall. So your heel is touching the wall. Your other leg is straight down. Your core is on. From here, we're going to slide that leg up. You should feel your glutes switching on. Slide it down. We're going for 10 reps here. So that leg is just lightly up against the wall. You're not digging it into the wall. You're just using that wall as a little bit of guidance, making sure that your heel never leaves the wall. Your core stays absolutely still. So the movement is just that little glide up, glide down. It's very much isolated to just your hip. So nice smooth movement. Don't go too quickly with this one. We're just slowly guiding that leg up and down. I haven't been counting, but let's go for three more. One, two and three and that should be a really good burn right at the top of the hip let's do the other side as well i'm going to get you to flip over both legs straight place your top heel on the wall and we're going to slide up and control it down That's five, but we're going to do five more on this side. And five, perfect. For exercise two, you're still on your side. We're going to go back into that same position that we did the last exercise. So both legs are straight on the ground then with your top leg you're going to bend your knee so you're at a 90 degree angle there and we're going to do a clam so this time your foot is staying absolutely still and it's actually pressing into the wall a little bit and then that movement is happening again still just at your hip so you're lifting your knee up controlling it back down your foot stays still your core stays engaged and absolutely still as well. And then we're just doing that hinging movement up and down with your hip. Again, really focusing on those glutes with this one. This is a really good one to really isolate those glute medius, glute minimus muscles right on the side of your hip. So four more. Perfect, over to the other side. Same thing, start with both your legs straight, lying in on your side, then bend your top leg into a 90 degree angle. Your foot stays still, your knee goes up and down. That's five, five more. And that's 10. For exercise three, you're gonna have a stand up and you're going to place one foot forward. Your other leg is going to go against the wall. So this is your starting position. It's like a lunging position. So your legs are in that split stance. Your back knee is bent to 90 degrees with your foot planted flat on the, on the wall. With your front leg, you've got a lot of pressure going straight down. With your back foot, you've got pressure going backwards. So really try to push that foot into the wall as hard as you can. 
even just standing here pressing your back foot into the wall you should start to feel some of that glute engagement this is a really great way to activate all of those muscles around your pelvis and your hips but that's not the exercise to do the exercise we're going to go down into a lunge your feet don't move the movement really happens from your hips so you're really sitting your hips back towards the wall. Your, your feet are still putting pressure through the floor and then through the wall with your back foot. Let's do five more on this side. Really should be feeling that burn through your glute of the leg that's at the front. Like your last. Perfect, swap sides, legs are same distance apart. Back foot goes into the wall, knee is bent, really pressing into that wall, and then you're sitting your hips back. We're going for 10 reps. The more pressure you place through your feet, the harder that muscle activation is going to happen. So you really feel the burn like you last. And that's 10 of those. Exercise at four is a standing side leg lift. So one foot is planted on the ground. You're in a very slight squat. So you're just sitting your hips back slightly there. Your other foot is going to go against the wall. So it's just your heel against the wall. You're in that uh, slight squat position, standing on one leg. You're going to stay there absolutely still through that leg that's on the ground. Your other leg is going to slide up and then control back down. The movement is happening just at your hip here. Make sure the rest of your body stays still. You don't want to be bending or tilting as you do this. It's four, let's go for 10. Really good glute activation here. Also really good stability exercise for this leg that's on the ground. So you should feel it in this glute and in this glute. One more here. Perfect and same thing on the other side. One foot goes on the ground, really stable through that leg. The other heel is touching the ground, touching the wall, sorry. And then you're lifting that leg up, controlling down. So just sliding that leg up the wall. The rest of your body stays really still. So that's three, four, we're going for 10. And 10. For exercise five, you're going to turn your exercise mat to a 90 degree angle. You're going to have a lie on your back with your head close to the wall. So have a lie on your back. This is going to be a really good ab exercise with your hands up against the wall. So your hands are going to flip up. Your palms are pushing into the wall. So you're going to be pushing yourself away from the wall using your hands. At the same time, your lower back is going to go really flat on the floor. So tuck your tailbone up, flatten your lower back, engage your abs and push yourself away from the wall. By pressing your lower back into the floor, and simultaneously pressing your hands away from the wall, you're going to activate your core. You shouldn't be moving anywhere, just creating that tension through your lower back or your abdominals and through your hands pressing into the wall. So create that tension through your body. Hold it there, make sure you're still breathing. Press your hands into the wall as hard as you can. Press your lower back into the floor as hard as you can. And then if you can from here, we're going to do little leg extensions. So one leg goes out, the other leg goes out. The movement is happening only through your legs. Your lower back stays absolutely still and you're still push, pushing your hands into the wall as hard as you can. 
Creating that tension, but still breathing. Lower back should stay absolutely flat on the floor the whole time. Do one more on each side and done. Next exercise, we're going to do bridges with our feet on the wall. So you're going to turn around with your feet facing the wall now, have a lie on your back. You wanna position yourself so that your knees and your hips are at 90 degree angles. So you're starting off in this position. So feet are in line with your knees and knees are directly above your hips. Have a lie flat on the floor, flatten your lower back here as well. Push your feet into the wall as hard as you can. Hands are going to go across your chest and then you're lifting yourself up into a bridge, coming down halfway or just before you hit the floor and then lifting back up. Good. Toes are pushing into the wall. Lifting up, squeezing your butt as you lift up. So your glutes and your hamstrings at the back of your thighs should be activating here. Eight, two more. Ten, perfect. We're going to make that one just a little bit harder by bringing one foot off the wall. You're going to cross that leg over your other leg and then we're going to do that single leg, lifting up, squeeze. Little bit more intense through that glute and that hamstring. If this feels too difficult on one leg, keep going with the double leg, that's totally fine. Four more on this side. Perfect, and then we're going to do the other leg. So that leg is on the wall. Come a little bit closer if you've pushed yourself away. Cross your other leg, arms are still across your chest. Lift up and squeeze. The last exercise I'm going to show you today is a single leg squat against the wall. This is one of my all time favorite runners exercises and it's a lot harder than it initially looks. The setup is a little bit tricky so I'm going to slowly walk you through it. Take your time to get it right. You're going to stand up against the wall on your side. One leg is on the floor, pretty close to the wall. You're probably only about a foot or less away from the wall. Your other knee is going to press into the wall. So you've got that knee against the wall, that foot going straight down. The only thing on the wall is your knee. I don't wanna see your hip or your shoulder against the wall. So just your knee against the wall and your knee is in line with your other knee. This is your starting position. You're putting pressure through your foot, so you're balancing through that foot. You're also putting pressure through this knee. Push that knee into the wall as hard as you can. Creating that tension, pushing that knee into the wall is going to create muscle activation through this glute. That's where we wanna feel it. The rest of your body is standing really still and stable. If you find this quite challenging, you can do just purely this as your exercise. Just hold it, push into the wall, hold for 10, 15 seconds, let go and try again. If you want more of a challenge, we're going to go into a squat from here. That knee keeps pressing into the wall. This foot is flat and really stable on the floor. And then you're going to move your hips back into a squat and then come back up. 
So hips are going back into the wall, back into, back that way, sorry, and then coming back up. The movement is happening just at your hip. Make sure your knee doesn't move because that knee is pressing into the wall. So the tension through that knee is keeping you absolutely still and really isolating the movement to just your hip. So you're gonna feel that quite strongly through that glute. Two more on this side. And then over to the other side, foot is on the ground, other knee is on the wall. Press that knee into the wall, press your foot down firmly, and then sit your hips back, control it up. You can see that the movement is really isolated to just this hip moving backwards. My back is also flat. So I'm not bending my chest down, looking straight forward, isolating to just that hip. Should be really feeling it in that glute. Three more. Done. Thanks for joining me for another runner's strength workout. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to get more content. We'll see you next time.